historic judgment by the Supreme Court in favor of Sri Ram Temple at Ayodhya is a triumph for the Indian belief, its plurality, its inclusiveness, and above all, its people. Today, 5th August 2020, heralds a turning point in the history of India. It marks the undoing of a barbarous wrong done 500 years ago and it indeed reflects victory of good over evil. I wish to recall the innumerable people who sacrifice their lives so that we may witness this day. Not to forget that this movement transcended caste, creed, religion, geography and actually united India into oneness. We, a group of Christians, proudly profess ourselves as Bharatiya Christians, fully aware and believe that our ancestors were Hindus originally. We believe we are equally an integral part of Hindu legacy. On behalf of the Christian community, I express my sincere wishes for the successful construction of the temple. We also wish to be part of the Sri Ram Mandir Shilanyas and on a personal front, next year, same day, I will be at Ayodhya to dedicate my offering to the temple construction. Also joining me in this happiness are a few other Christians. Hi, good morning everybody. This is Jacob from Bombay. I am a practicing advocate uh, in Bombay and the member of Hindustani Christians, uh, my friend. I am very happy on this day of 5th of um, August 2020 that the whole world is happy that <clears throat> On this day, which was been, um, which we have been waiting for uh, centuries to build a Ram Janmabhoomi temple in Ram Janmabhoomi, and the dream has come true. So, on behalf of the whole Christian community and Hindustani <coughs> Christians, I would like to thank um, the car savers who have uh, lost their life. Hundreds of car savers who have lost their life in um, 1992 and also in uh, 2002 in Godra train attack. So I'm very much uh, happy that after waiting for centuries the temple is going to be built. And uh, on behalf of the Christian community too, I would uh, seek uh, of like brotherhood with uh, our Hindu brothers. And uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Hello, I am Francis D'Souza from Mumbai. So today, on behalf of Hindustani Christians, we, our group is very happy to celebrate the opening of Ram Mandir Temple in Ayodhya. And we are proud of this cultural heritage that it is growing. And we are big thanks to Gurudev Sri Ravi Shankar, to our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and all who have been part of this uh, historic moment I am Pritam Paul from Bangalore, India and I am here to give my best wishes for the construction of the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya and I pray to Lord that everything goes according to the plan. Namaste. My name is Gloria. I am uh, from Bangalore. I currently reside in Singapore. I wanted to congratulate each and every person who has worked really hard to ensure the Mandir is rebuilt at Lord Ram's birthplace after 500 long years, right? Uh, so this is such a joyous occasion for all of us, irrespective of religion, caste and creed. And um, I would have loved to be at the Bhumi Pujan, if not for COVID. But nonetheless, I'm going to be there in spirit, glued to Doodarshan, of course, the whole day. Let us celebrate this day to the fullest and pray to Lord Ram that he protects India from all evil going forward. Jai Hind and Jai Sri Ram. Namaste. I am Harish Fernandez, a Christian. I would like to say a few words on the great developments at Sri Ram Mandir Ayodhya. It is a proud time in Indian history where a grievous wrong that was committed around 400 years ago is being corrected in our generation. And getting back a part of our culture, our ancient culture, is something to be very proud of. So we have to remember and thank citizens such as archaeologist Sri K.K. Mohammed and his team for being persistent in executing and defending the truth of a temple at the site. It is remarkable that our worthy Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji will be attending the Bhumi Puja. 
May he continue to stay blessed and strong in leading our nation towards unity. Jai Shri Ram.